Hello everyone, my name is Humbik, Senior Fast Track Consultant at Incentra. Welcome to another Fast Track update. Last month I brought you everything you needed to know about basic authentication versus modern authentication. This month I'm going to expand on one of the new workloads that has recently been introduced into the Fast Track program, Microsoft Information Protection. Now before I start, Microsoft Information Protection, or MIP, has replaced Azure Information Protection, or AIP. However, AIP features such as labels still make a part of MIP. So, what is MIP? Microsoft Information Protection is a framework of tools available to organizations to further help enhance the security and compliance footprint by introducing features such as basic and advanced email encryption and sensitivity and retention labels, just to name a few. Depending on what license SKU you own will depend on what features you can enable across the MIP framework. Implementing MIP helps organizations discover, classify, and protect sensitive information wherever it lives or travels. The features within MIP gives organizations access to various tool sets spread across three pillars. Know your data, protect your data, and prevent data loss. Each of these pillars contain their own tool sets that can be configured and deployed, which I'll cover off in the course of this video. Knowing your data refers to understanding your data landscape and identifying important data across your hybrid environment. To understand your data landscape and identify important data, the following capabilities are available. Sensitive information types, which help identify sensitive data using built-in functions. Data classification, identify items that have a sensitivity label or a retention label. And trainable classifiers, which is currently in preview mode and helps classify data for you. Protecting your data can be achieved using a variety of features and tool sets available, depending on whether you own E3 or E5 licenses. To apply flexible protection actions that include encryption, access restrictions, and visual markings, the following capabilities can be used. Sensitivity labels, which label data as it travels inside and outside the organization. AIP Unified Labeling and Scanner. For Windows computers, it extends sensitivity labels for additional features and functionality. Double key encryption, only you can ever decrypt protected content. Office 365 message encryption, which encrypts email messages and attachments. A rights management connector, protection only for existing on-premises deployments. And MCAS, or Microsoft Cloud App Security, discovers, labels, and protects sensitive information. Preventing corporate data loss doesn't necessarily mean having adequate backups in place. In the world of information protection, Preventing data loss refers to locking down and preventing any form of data leakage where sensitive information or content is sent outside of the organization's network. To help prevent accidental oversharing of sensitive information, use the following capabilities. Data loss prevention or DLP, prevent unintentional sharing of sensitive items. Endpoint data loss prevention, where you can extend DLP capabilities to Windows 10 devices. And there you have it everything you need to know about Microsoft Information Protection and the tool sets that are available for deployment. If you'd like to know more or need assistance with the rollout of MIP across your organization, please feel free to get in contact with me at the email address below to discuss how FastTrack can assist, and I'll see you at the next FastTrack update.